Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing and um, pick a card about an urgent message that you need to know right now. Okay, so we have four groups as usual. We have group number one with the Amethyst Cluster, group number two with the Aura Quartz Titanium Covered, group number three with another Aura Quartz Titanium Covered and group number four with the Rose Quartz Heart. Okay, so please choose your group and let's get started in your urgent message. So starting off, with group number one. Hello group number one with the lovely amethyst cluster. Let's get started in your reading. Also, can we just appreciate how beautiful that is? That is so stunning. So let's get started in your reading and let's see what your urgent message is that you need to know, okay? So the first thing we have here is a new start is coming. <laughs> Perfect, oh my God, I'm gonna put that there because I love that card. I think it's one of my faves. So I'm gonna put that there actually so you can see a bit better. New start is coming, beautiful. We then have write a gratitude list number 55. So for you guys, number 55 is gonna be obviously a very significant number. So look out for 55. Uh, we also have kindness, which is really lovely. So a lot of kind energy to give to yourself. We then have empowerment. You're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful, wow. This is very feminine energy, very, very strong feminine energy. We then have the owl, you see clearly now. I'm gonna plot this little guy here, 43. And we also have the starfish, intuition. Listen to your soul's truth, think less, feel more. So I'm gonna start off with these cards first and then we're gonna carry on to the other cards. So let me put this here without burning myself. Okay, so this is perfect. I feel like I'm really connecting to the color purple for this group. So Amethyst is definitely, I feel like your crystal for sure. Okay, so for you guys, you are definitely very, very empowered. Okay, I feel like all you need to become more powered and very kind to yourself. I feel like there's a very strong element of you guys seeing very clearly about how you feel about yourself and how you feel about your own self-confidence and how you feel about your own ability to go forward and how you feel about your own ability to do things that you really want to do and a new start is coming guys so you are definitely going to have a new start in whatever possible way you want that to be and we obviously will be more specific in the cards but I do feel like it's something that you've wanted for a very long time I do feel like it's actually more about your self-love and how you feel about yourself and the new start is coming in terms of I feel like the more self-love you have and the more confident you feel in your intuition and how you see clearly and just trusting yourself just keep trusting yourself I've been doing a thing where I can say okay I trust myself I trust myself I trust myself I just constantly say that because you do trust yourself, it is there, you do have the ability to trust yourself guys and you do have the confidence uh, to go forward. So I do feel like this write, writing a gratitude list is very, very important. This doesn't have to be a, exactly a gratitude list, but it can be something that just feels really, really good for you in terms of like listing, whatever listing, whatever sort of list feels good for you guys. Okay, and then we have gentleness, that's beautiful, okay. It says, be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness, speak words of love. Okay guys, so I'm sorry if the angle has slightly changed and I had to get up and move something. So let's sort these cards out. <laughs> so I definitely feel like for you guys, I'll say it's all about kindness and being gentle to yourself. I really feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, this is very gentle energy. And just being like, knowing that everything's gonna be okay and that you are doing all the right things and not to be so hard on yourself, you know? Uh, we then have surrender. Oh my God, that is so accurate for this reading, I feel like. Just to surrender to everything that's going on, guys. <laughs> and just knowing that it's okay with the number eight as well. And just knowing that everything's gonna be fine. There's literally no need to worry. And we have prosperity lies ahead. So everything that you've been working forward towards is basically going to serve you in a really good way. And prosperity lies ahead in terms of money, in terms of what you really desire. And everything that you've been wanting is coming, guys. We have a new start, we have prosperity, we have, you see clearly now, you see clearly now about the way you act or in a certain way as well. I feel like you're having a lot of clarification about who you are, definitely. So we have the seventh house relating, partnerships, companionships, best friends, marriage relationships. So for you guys, you could be getting into a new relationship, you could be improving your relationship. Um, and also look at this, oh my God, this is so pretty, oh my God opportunity in the seventh house so you guys are going to get a relationship so if you guys are worrying if you're not going to have a relationship nothing's going to happen there's no friends coming towards me nothing is happening i need balance i don't have balance everything that you've wanted is coming okay everything that you've wanted is coming and everything that you've desired is 
going to be absolutely beautiful and it's all coming in for your highest good and it's all coming in and it's just absolutely beautiful i mean couldn't get any more beautiful than that oh my god i love that and if you're wanting friends if you're wanting new people around you you are going to have that okay so we also have the four of cups we have the empress and we also have the ten of pentacles so this is kind of in the reverse i'm saying kind of because i don't feel like it is in the reverse because it because it kind of came out in the reverse i do feel like this is how you feel at the moment you feel like everything is lacking, nothing is going forward, nothing is moving, and now it's going to turn around and you're going to get everything you want. And it's really important to um, just love yourself and know that it's going to be okay. And the Empress is all about just being extremely empowered and feeling really, really strong and confident and knowing that you've made the right choices and, and you're going to make the right choices. And everything that you want is coming towards you guys. So if you are feeling that cluster, if you feel like nothing is happening, why is everything so freaking slow? This is why, okay? It's just literally just knowing that everything's gonna be okay and just being kind to yourself through this process. I feel like the main advice is literally being so kind to yourself because you have kindness and gentleness. Like, you know, that can't be more obvious, you know? And giving more towards yourself. If you haven't really given much towards yourself, just do that. And in terms of, <clears throat> excuse me, giving to yourself, I mean, write gratitude lists, do some artwork, do something that's fun, you know, and this four of cups is you possibly having an offer coming in, which I mean, kind of obvious here as well, an offer coming in, and you feel like, mm, maybe it's not the right offer, I was kind of waiting for this for such a long time, and now it's not, now it's coming, I don't really know if I should, mm, you know, but I feel like this is definitely going to be very good, because somebody wants to, wants to be around you, or someone wants to be with you, Okay, someone wants to be with you in this energy. My throat is very hurt, very much hurt. So I feel like your throat chakra needs clearing. Um, and we're going to get a crystal card. Actually, we're going to get a crystal card for this. I'm going to see, whoa, I'm going to see what crystal we need for this group. Oh, gorgeous. Prenite. Release and declutter heart chakra. That is so accurate, I feel like. That is so accurate. I feel like this is so synchronistic because you guys are just literally decluttering everything that don't, doesn't serve you anymore and anything that doesn't isn't fitting you anymore and now that you're doing this you're opening your heart to new possibilities and new relationships guys oh my god i'm so excited for you so let's have a look and see also we have underneath guys we have spirit guides the third eye chakra so your intuition is going to be really heightened and obviously we've got intuition here and your spirit guides are with you okay so if you feel like you're alone you feel like you can't survive you can't move forward this is going to change. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple of letters. I'm going to see anything that we need to know about this situation. So we have, we have T, V, F, U, um, K and Z. So if any of that resonates with you guys, it could be your name, could be somebody else's name it could be you thinking fuck because <laughs> it's f-u-k um it could be tv you could be watching something on tv that feels really good for you or something that um inspires you that sort of thing i feel like the letter k i'm really being drawn to i'm not sure why so you guys let me know if that, if that resonates i'm hearing it could be a planet for some reason some of you guys don't know if there's a planet pertaining to any of those letters i mean uranus Uranus is a very big planet of like a big planet of opportunity and expansion and like growth. So I definitely feel like that's accurate for you guys. Um, yeah, I feel like the I'm hearing the underworld. So I definitely feel like a lot of you are battling a lot of demons and things that don't serve you anymore. So I really hope that resonates, guys. So if this resonates, guys, let me know down below. And I really hope you enjoyed your urgent message. My private readings are down below. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, reading, and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what your urgent message is. We have the titanium aura quartz, um, aura quartz, sorry, titanium covered. I love this. It's one of my fave crystals. It's just so freaking beautiful. Um, this is all, this is my happiness crystal. So every time I look at it, I'm really happy. So I do feel like for you guys, you're manifesting a lot of happiness. Okay. And this is your urgent message. So let's see what your urgent message is. Starting off with the moonology card, we have hold your vision. So this is all about holding on to your faith, holding on to what you feel you want. You know, everything you want is coming for you. And this gorgeous purple, I love this purple, um, all this gorgeous purple here, really, really beautiful. So 
definitely feel like you guys are possibly a fixed sign as well. You could be Taurus, Leo, Capricorn. No, Capricorn. Okay, I'm just going to say star signs. Taurus, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio and, Air and Aquarius and possibly Aries as well. So we have Gemini, which is lovely. So this is all about you guys being really positive around what you desire in terms of like a thing that you really, really want. I do feel like it's aspirational. I feel like this is a lot to do with career and kind of a, it could be even a state of mind as well. So let's see what else we have. We have sexuality, which is lovely. And then we also have inner power. So there's definitely a lot to do with, I mean, these two relate to each other really, really well, especially with the inner power and the sexuality like together is like that. Because I feel like the more inner power you have, the more sexy you look, the more sexy you feel, the more confident you feel, the more happy you are, you know, that kind of deal. Sexuality is not just about sex. It's literally just about who you are and how you relate to your own inner power. Because sexuality is about creativity. It's about abundance. It's about just being so freaking comfortable with yourself, you know? And I feel like you are really looking into this subject at the moment. I'm really being drawn to these two cards, like really, like so much of to just go woo, like a witchy around it. So let's have a look and see about more of your cards. We have blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. So you're definitely gonna have a major life change, guys. I definitely feel that for you guys, 100%. We then have the flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. And peacock spirit, let it shine. This, this I feel like is so accurate for you guys. I feel like for a lot of you, it's really, really important for you to just embrace this in-between time. Because there's an in-between time as well, you guys are needing to hold your vision. That's literally what I'm feeling. And especially with the let it shine, I feel like this is so accurate to this. It's basically just embracing who you are. It's just basically confirming everything I'm saying, which is fabulous. I love that. And it's basically just understanding that everything that you've gone through is for a reason and you are going to go through and this change is bringing you to a huge blessing that you have been wanting for a freaking long time, okay? For some of you guys, you could be questioning your sexuality as well. You could be questioning, maybe I should transition. Maybe I'm bisexual, maybe I'm gay. Maybe I'm going from gay to straight. You know, it could be that sort of thing where you're questioning. You could be even literally just changing up your whole wardrobe. You could be changing up the way you look. You could be changing up the way you think. It's definitely a, a major change in a shift in, in your identity, you know, in, in various ways. You know, it could be, as I say, your sexuality. It could be you want, you're at the age now where you want to, start having sex or maybe you haven't had sex for a long time and maybe you want to start having it you know obviously if you're under the age please don't please don't do it when you're under the age just let you guys know so giraffe the bigger picture take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings exactly 100 percent. so just chill just chill guys it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine okay hedgehog acceptance embrace who you are oh my god that is so accurate every time i get this little guy I feel like people are kind of love hedgehogs. I think they're so freaking cute. A lot of people are very scared of hedgehogs because they're spiky, okay? And not a lot of people want to pick them up. And whenever I get this card, it's always about accepting yourself who you are. And not, not everyone will like you and not everyone hates you, okay? So it's basically that, that uh, message of embracing who you are and knowing that you are a cute little being who is on this planet for a reason and you're on here to learn and to grow and to expand and if sometimes you just need to sit and cry or you just need to be by yourself or you just need to question things that's totally fine guys there's nothing wrong with that okay i know it's not comfortable but it isn't always the, the worst thing you know connect with fire this is so accurate this is so accurate because look how similar it is to sexuality like your inner fire and every time i get about sexuality i always imagine like a flame just in like the torso area so just under, just on your solar plexus, which is basically the, the fire center of your, your soul, your body, you know? So connecting with fire is really gonna take you to a new level, you know? I feel like that sounds like so sexual or like you're gonna go on an acid trip. <laughs> but I mean, in the sense that you guys are gonna feel so much more connected with yourself and nature and it's gonna really, uh, this is gonna literally, I know it sounds very cheesy, but they're saying this is gonna mirror who you are, you know? This is gonna show you that you can be seen you can be um bold and just be who you are there's nothing wrong with who you are guys okay and sometimes you may want to express yourself in a really bold way i mean flamingos are very bold peacocks are very bold they're both very bold extremely stunning birds so i do feel like for you guys it's literally about people noticing you and and saying that that's okay like that's okay for people to notice you so we have imagination 
Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. So this is you guys kind of holding that vision and say, hold that vision and understanding that it's all going to be for your highest good and that you you do have permission to dream you are going to accomplish things you want to do and maybe it's just not that right time yet which I know is annoying guys I know I feel you I feel you 100% but you will advance you will get to that place and I love how we've got 26 and 46 and the flamingo isn't as like bold I feel like as the peacock and it's almost like you're advancing to that person where you are this being who wants to express yourself in fashion, sexuality, sexuality, <laughs> sexuality, um, makeup, your identity. You want to be confident and you will. You will get that. You will open yourself up. You will express yourself more. And I feel like your heart chakra is open as well. So if you feel a lot of area around, stuff around your heart, you think, oh, I'm having heart palpitations or my heart feels really open and it feels weird, then that is what's happening. So we have action number 15 I definitely feel like this group is the most passive and when I say passive I don't mean that in a bad way I mean in a sense you're very shy or you're introverted and I know those two aren't the same thing so just bear with me on that but I definitely feel like I feel like you feel really quiet in this group and it just feels very centered and very like still so you guys just need to really embody who you are and know that you have these attributes for a reason and you are going to have take action on whatever you need to do and you're going to feel so much more freer when you do. And maybe this action is not ready yet. Maybe you're not ready to take action yet. Okay, guys, I love this in the center. Oh my God, perfect. This is all about you loving yourself. And this is the Gemini card. So that's lovely. Connecting with both sides of you, connecting with your masculine and your feminine. And now it's okay. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, oh my God, I love this. This is beautiful. So I definitely feel like there's love coming towards you. Let's just put that, put that out there. Possibly with an air sign. But I do feel like it's communication coming in. There's somebody who really likes you. And it's taking that action towards this person. Maybe you like a person. Maybe you're really interested in somebody. Mm, this is interesting because now I'm getting a few other messages. I feel like for some of you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, you could want to talk to somebody. But you're not sure. And I feel like for some of you guys, you could actually, this could be like a first um, love or this could be like a first encounter with possibly a new identity that you're forming so say if you have been straight for a long time and then you suddenly are gay or you relate to yourself as bisexual and you want to start expressing that and maybe you're scared to take action on it you know also some of you guys obviously that's not going to relate to everyone but for some of you guys I feel like <clears throat> excuse me you wanted love for a very long time you were in a relationship for a very long time and you wanted to connect yourself with yourself for a very long time and I think once you do, once you connect yourself with yourself and you feel confident with who you are, this love is going to start forming. This person's going to start coming in. They're going to be a very strong foundation for who you are. And you're going to feel very, very happy with yourself. And you're going to absolutely love yourself so much. You're going to absolutely love who you are. And I feel like this person's going to be everything you've ever wanted. And they're going to accept you for who you are. This person's probably going to be quite tall as well. You could be quite small, they could be quite tall, but you know, something like that. Also, the person you can be meeting is probably quite is more extroverted or more confident than you and I feel like this is going to bring out your confidence so I do feel like this new change as well is possibly going to be a, a new person coming in who's actually going to shift your whole perspective and this blessed change that's that coming in guys and it's going to really help you to embrace your inner power so let's get some little let's get some words and then also going to do your number so let's see what number you need to be looking out for number one beautiful so the self new start new change and new opportunities that's beautiful okay so let's see what else we have we have v a uh d sorry guys when i'm moving the cards move sometimes uh c l b and we also have t okay sorry you can see that my arm's in the way so i do feel like some of you could be called valerie um or a lad, you could be a, a lad, <laughs> um, or you could want a lad, like not as in like someone who's a fuck boy, but someone who's like really, you know, just a guy, you could want a guy. Um, we have bat or bad, you want like a bad boy or a bad girl, I don't know. Um, cat, so you could be wanting a cat. Um, is there anything else? getting VAT I don't know what that is maybe your tax I don't know <laughs> um lab so you could be working in lab laboratories something like that 
if any of this doesn't resonate the guys you just take it as it resonates or just kind of look at the letters and see oh okay i really resonate with that letter or that could be the start of your name something like that do you freaking mind <laughs> okay so let's have a look at your crystal card and let's see what crystal you need to help you in this change help you with this urgent message coming through i'm just going to shuffle the cards guys sorry if any of my cards move my table is not very stable i do not have a stable table and if you know me guys and you know my channeling sometimes i get stable table as a message and it's quite ironic that i've got an unstable table to channel messages so we have chai style like past loved ones root chakra so this is you being grounded this has got really a really deep message and normally when i look at this card i don't always get a deep message this has a very deep message this is about you releasing any past trauma this is about releasing any family issues that you have that are connected to you and you're realizing actually i don't want to be like that and also it's releasing the tension that you have towards yourself where you hold yourself back or just having thoughts about yourself where you just hold yourself back it doesn't have to be <coughs> maybe holding yourself back in uh, like talking as well talking about certain things and i feel like this there's definitely somebody who's affected you there's definitely somebody who's affected you, affected your confidence. So I feel like you're releasing this person or you're learning to think, actually, that's their views, not mine. You know, it's not my views. And you'll learn to stand tall like the giraffe. Have your neck up instead of down, you know. And we also have lepidolite. Oh, my God, trust. Third eye and crown chakra. So this is all about you trusting your intuition, trusting where you're going. I love this. This is one of my favourite cards because it's just so like, it just affirms everything and it's purple, like hold your vision. I say I definitely was connected to the colour purple. So if you'd like to get these crystals, we have Chai Stolite and Lepidolite. I will be selling crystal recommendations on my website when I get it up and running and that is going to be a little bit in the future, but just to let you guys know. So if you ever want to purchase a crystal from me, you can always let me know and I can see if I can order it obviously not yet but I am doing crystal recommendation um, necklaces at the moment in in the early stages guys so if you are ever, ever interested then please just hit me up and I'll let you know all about it uh, but I'm not really seeing any photos or anything yet because I'm not fully ready uh, it's not fully ready either so but you know I'm getting there so uh, so thank you so much for watching and if you want a personal reading all my information is down below I'd love to do a reading for you and I'll speak to you very soon much love group two Bye. Hello group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So I do apologise if the kind of setting is a little bit different. I had to change my battery and things like that. So let's get started with this reading. We have the gorgeous Aura Quartz Titanium Covered, which is absolutely gorgeous. So let's get started in your reading and let's see what cards you have. So as usual, we're going to kind of go as we go along and not pull them out all at once. Oh yes, baby. A win-win outcome is four cards. These are my favourite cards, so I'm a believer in them. I love them. That and the, <clears throat> excuse me, like the new, the new moons and things like that. I think these are so pretty. I love this. A win-win outcome is four cards. So a lot of balance coming through, a lot of loveliness coming through, which is gorgeous. We have try and flow. Exactly. Yes. We have some really lovely balanced energy, a lot of kind of newness, lots of balance. I love it. It's so great. I'm so excited. And we also have the innovator Aquarius. So we definitely, with this flow and the Aquarius, Libra and Aquarius, I feel like are, I feel, I don't feel like they get along very well. I'm not going to lie. I don't feel like you get normally Aquarius and Libra friends. I'm not sure you do. I don't, I don't feel like you do. Obviously, if you have Aquarius or Libra friends, that's totally fine. I feel like Libras are very balanced, whereas Aquarius are more to do with the esoteric, more to do with like kind of spirituality or I feel like Libra is more of like the more grounded one sort of thing and I feel like with this kind of connection with the balance and the flow and the innovator this is all about you balancing out your spirituality and this means that basically when you kind of overthink and things like that you just kind of come back to yourself and you're like nope everything's gonna be fine everything's gonna be okay and Aquarius it says are very radical and eccentric so you may kind of want to start something new that's very eccentric, something that's different out of the box and also something that is just different for you as well. I feel like this flow and the balance is just, oh, this is just like a perfect combination. It's this always pink energy as well. It's so loving and so feminine. I love it. Honouring your true feelings. That's lovely. I feel like it's very connected with this win-win outcome. I feel like you're very much balancing out your feelings. Yep. Feeling your true self. Yep. 
So a lot about the self, a lot about your emotions and new location, beautiful. So a lot of you guys are possibly moving to somewhere new. The urgent message for you guys is that you're possibly gonna be moving. You could be moving to a new workplace. You could be, could be home, it could be your work. But it could also be that you're moving into a new space in your life in terms of your emotions. You know, you're, you feel, you're feeling more free and more comfortable. And you, where you're honouring your true self and you're awakening your true self, you are becoming less bothered by other people and you're becoming more bothered by what you want and what suits you. And you could also be entering a new relationship as well. It could be the location. I'm hearing a breakup for a lot of you as well. So if you're breaking up for an old partner, a friendship, that's going to be very, very important for this connection, okay? We then have, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So if there's something that you're debating on in terms of your in terms of your emotions, something that needs to change or something that needs to be assisted, uh, then that is your thing. And also, if you're wondering about something and you want something, possibly a relationship or career, then yes, you know, your intuition is correct. You are going to have that certain thing. We then have love is all around beautiful so this is a love card i feel like in my in the deck in this deck every time i see this i think yep love is all around i feel like it's also accepting the fact that you will have love and if you are single especially if you guys are single you're definitely gonna have love and if you have been lacking in it in your life and just feeling like you can't you can't connect to yourself you will find that you will find that and you will sing your own song as well i feel like this card is very much connected to the other a bird card in the deck which is something like sing your own song or something like that. I feel like it's you knowing that that's, that's you, you know, you're a spiritual being having a human experience and you're going to be fine. I'm really connecting with this fish. So I feel like you could be connected with the Pisces or just water, being around water. And we do have the whale as well, trust in the great mystery. This card is so pretty. I really love whales. I think they're just such beautiful. They're just so stunning. Like how did nature make that? I just, I just it's insane. And then we have the rhino spirit overcome any obstacle. So these two I feel like are really connected. It's almost like loving yourself within the mystery. You're overcoming quite a big obstacle at the moment and you are able to do that. You are able to overcome this obstacle and you can do it. You can do it, okay? Next card we have is rabbit, sensitive soul. Exactly, I definitely felt like this group has a sensitive soul. Strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. Guys, you are so connected to other people right now. It's really important for you to honor your own energy and really be connected to your yourself, okay? And find your tribe, you know? Whenever I get this, it's normally connecting to other people who are like you, but don't look like you, you know? Like, not everyone is like you in terms of your your the way you are but it doesn't mean you can't connect with them you know and every and every person is different you know every soul is different some people are old souls some people are indigo children some people are rainbow children you know so everyone is different but we can all connect to each other through love you know i know that sounds very cheesy but and this is definitely what the energy is it's like goddess expansion being in your divine feminine energy and i was literally just reading a post about this about divine feminine energy and it was somebody who basically thought that they may, they needed to increase their feminine energy to become more attractive and it's not like that it's basically just awakening who you are it's not about changing anything or altering anything it's about actually it's just literally always just realizing who you are and understanding that you will benefit from this energy and we do have divine feminine and masculine energy here so you're balancing that out and also finding your divine partner as well if you're looking for that so we have expansion, exactly. So you're expanding who you are. I got this recently as well, which is interesting. So this is about you kind of sharing your message and really kind of just being yourself and not giving a damn about other people in terms of like, you know, negative comments or judgment. It's literally just you, okay, I'm free, like being free and being open and not letting anyone judge you for who you are because you are a divine human being who is amazing. Okay, you have trust, exactly. This I feel like is so accurate at the moment for so many people. It's just trusting that I know this feels unsafe, you may feel unsafe, you may feel scared. Just please just sit with those feelings and if you need to do something about them, then definitely do. Dance, walk, maybe do some EFT, some tapping, some acknowledging and releasing, you know, acknowledging the feelings and releasing it. My, um, I have done emotional fitness coaching and the thing that I used to say is you basically pick a emotion that and, and then what's it about? You say, I am feeling, say, sad about, I acknowledge this feeling and I choose to release it right now, okay? So definitely use that one, guys, if you're having trouble. 
Hydrate, yep, drink some water. This is so accurate for me. <laughs> I always forget to drink water. I always forget to drink it when I'm doing readings. Yeah, so this is an extra message for you to drink water to make sure, be connected to water. As I said, I definitely feel like this group is connected to water. And if you're getting intuitive hit to drink more water, do it. And also clear out your system, detoxify your system with things. And if there's things that don't you don't feel comfortable with anymore, say like drinking cow's milk, eating meat, um, or the opposite, if you feel like you need to eat more meat, because some people just do, you know, and some people can't, some people can live with that and some people can't, you know, everybody is different. But obviously you can get different types of meat that are more like sustainable for the earth and things like that. But you know, you'll know what's good for you. So we have the five of swords. We have the nine of cups. And we also have the king of swords. So you guys are really waiting for something to come along. And I feel like you're, a lot of you are in this energy right now where you'll feel like you're being left out and you're you're basically like everything is just feeling really bad and confusing but you will end up being here and you'll be much more stronger could be an air sign coming in as well libra aquarius not aquarius but yeah libra aquarius or a gemini as well there's a lot of air in this group so if you're an air sign or have areas prominently in your chart it's definitely going to be something that's definitely going to be extra clarification for you guys um this king of swords i feel like is very mature i'm getting an actual fertile energy from him which is really interesting so i feel like a lot of you guys you're going to get pregnant or i mean this is a planned pregnancy guys not a, not a surprise one some of you guys i feel like you're really going to be able to wow this is a really strong message i feel like for a lot of you guys you're going to be able to connect with, with your masculine energy and also connect with other masculines so if you are a feminine struggling with masculines or males men in particular in terms of connecting with them, trusting them, loving them, this is a sign for you guys that you're going to really be comfortable with it now. You're going to be really understanding of that energy and you're not going to be scared of it anymore, you know. And not to say that males are scary or masculine scary, you know, it can be the opposite way. You could be a masculine scared of the feminine, you know. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really coming into understanding that it's okay, you are safe and you're doing this for your highest good. And that we had 1010 on the uh, camera as well, the timing. So we have number three, exactly. Three is a very strong number and this is group number three as well. So I do feel like three is your number, could be your life path number and just a number to look out for. So I'm gonna actually pull you another number because I feel the need to do that. So let's do that, six. So we have the number nine as well all together. So that could be extra messages for you guys. I'm gonna pull you lots of letters. I really feel the need to do that. Okay. So we have the letter D that is next to overcoming any obstacles. So it could be something to do with you being a daughter, could be a dad, something like that. Okay, so let's see what letters we have. J, Z, V, P, A, K, E. Sorry, I need to pull so many letters. R, G, F, B, M, and x so i feel like we're going to find a bf like a, a boyfriend or a best friend uh mc that that's really stacking out sticking out to me so if any of you guys are relating to that then let me know we have a pack i don't know why i'm really connected to that so you could find your like pack like your your tribe you know um i'm getting a bear as well bear what bear here yeah so for you guys you could have your spirit guide could be your or spirit animal could be your could be a bear. I think like zap. For some reason, I feel like sudden, like you're gonna have a sudden like wow, like a premonition or something. Rad. So this, I know there's a lot of weird words. Be rad. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, so I do feel like it's me as well. I've got me and yeah, that's what I'm picking up on, guys. I feel the need to put these two, J and P together. So look out for that as a name. And V and X. C and K, G and Z. So hopefully that resonates for you guys. I'm also going to pull you a crystal card to help you with your journey. Let's see what crystal you need right now. Tourmaline, smudging root chakra. Wow, so a lot of you guys need to just cleanse yourself from other energies. You could be kind of feeling a bit over the top with other people. You could just need to completely smudge yourself just to get yourself grounded again and to release any of that negativity or nastiness that you've picked up from other people even you may not even when i say nastiness from other people i don't mean like people are infectious or anything i just mean that it's you 
when you're sensitive and you're a sensitive soul, you can pick up on people's energies and you don't even realise. Sometimes you can get angry for no reason. You're like, hmm, that's weird. Um, and that's that's that, you know. You need to just protect yourself. And also tourmaline, um, jet, uh, black, yeah, black tourmaline, jet and hematite are all very, very good. Also black onyx are very, very good for, for protecting you from uh, negative energy and psychic attacks. So we have Peridot, teach heart chakra. So you're basically teaching your heart to be more comfortable with yourself and understanding, you're basically just really understanding yourself and realizing that you have a lot of potential and knowing that it's okay to be seen and to be comfortable with yourself. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you liked it, don't forget to uh, comment down below and subscribe if you would like to. Also I do private reading. So if you would like a private reading, all my rates are down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. I don't know what that was. I was like, oh, look like I'm playing the piano. <laughs> we have the gorgeous rose quartz heart. I love this rose quartz heart. It's so pretty. So let's get started with your reading. We have your commitment is being tested. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so definitely a lot of tests going on at the moment. Commitment, testing to yourself. You know, you're being tested. And let's see what this is all about. Wow, you guys are really letting go of a lot of stuff. Okay, so you guys have probably got the most intense group in terms of emotions. I feel like you guys are probably the most deep in your emotions at the moment. So let's see a little bit more information about that. So we have, have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. So you guys, I feel like are very much connecting to water. And this is very funny because we have water here and water here. I literally just noticed that. And the moon rules water and emotions. So I definitely feel like you guys are in your emotions for sure. It's really important for you to detoxify and release anything that no longer serves you in terms of people or food or old habits, old ways of thinking. I feel like it's coming out of your shell actually. And I feel this in a way that maybe you're going to do something that you haven't done before. But I feel like more to do with that you're coming out of your home in terms of your moving house. Like I feel like your whole home is being shifted and moved. And it could be that your whole house, and when, when I say this, it could actually mean like your job. You know when people uh, get fired and they have all their stuff in a box and then they move it? It's almost like that. I'm not saying you guys are going to get fired. I'm just saying that I do feel like you guys are really moving away from just old habits. And we have the abundant universal provides. There's nothing to worry about, guys. So you guys probably are lacking faith at the moment because things are not changing. Things are not moving. And you also have the number 10. So that's all about completion. So you guys are literally on the verge of newness, newness coming in. So it's, that's really, really interesting. It's a very hard headed energy as well. So you may feel a little bit stubborn or stuck and you may feel like things are just not freaking moving. So that is just an extra clarification that you are, you are coming into your energy. Sorry guys, I just had an out of body experience, which was really fun. I just came out of my body and came back in again. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, let's get back into this divine timing. Of course, of course we got this card. Okay, good things will come to those who wait. You guys are probably rolling your eyes so hard at this group right now. <laughs> You're like, oh my God, this is annoying. <laughs> but you know, you will have, you will take action and you will get there. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. So that's really interesting because it says, uh, where does it, now is the perfect time to act. And we have divine timing. So literally you'll know when the time is right to do something. If you feel like, oh, I have to do everything at once, everything needs to go, everything needs to happen, but I don't know what I need to do, you know, it's definitely literally like you need to just wait it out and just and just wait until it's a perfect time to act. Okay, guys, it's obviously not the right perfect, it's not obviously not the perfect time to act yet, or this is this is your cue to do that thing that you, that you wanted to do. Maybe you've been waiting for this sign. So we have assessing, yeah, exactly. So you're assessing the the situation you're figuring out is this the right thing for me to do should I do it and is this something that I want to do and we have the number nine here as well so a lot of you guys this is, this is before you take the action this is before you start it we have self-reflection so this is a lot as I say there's so much water in this group there's so many water signs and water signs well yeah literally it probably is a lot of water signs watching this group as well um Pisces Scorpio Cancerian and I love how we have two people here, like almost like the two sides of her. So it's like, you're probably just figuring out, okay, is this gonna be the right thing for me to do? Is this the right thing for me to do? And also for you guys, if you don't really have anything you need to take action on, whatever is meant for you is gonna to come to you, okay? And I'm just, I'm saying that very wholeheartedly. I'm not saying it just to make you feel good, but this is a genuine message that's coming through. Once it's the right time, you will freaking have that thing that you want. Okay guys, I promise me, I promise, promise me, promise you, 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Words are not coming out today and ironically we have read. So I was actually, funnily enough, I was looking at this card here and, it, and she's standing on a book and I was like, I bet it's something to do with researching and reading and then we have this card, which is amazing. So I definitely feel like you guys are really you know, researching and figuring out what to do and possibly just looking at online forums and things like that and seeing, okay, what's the best thing for me to do? Outlook, exactly, this is gorgeous. It's kind of like assessing. This is the ascendant, worldview, mission statement, expression, first impressions. This is normally, the this is a rising sign, I'm pretty sure, that is normally hidden. You know, it's normally the things overlooked in the, in the zodiac in astrology. So this is actually who you are. This is the way you act and I'm Virgo rising. So I have a more grounded approach, I feel, but I am very water sign. I have so many water signs in my chart, but I am Virgo rising. So I'm more like grounded and kind of like practical, but I am very watery, you know? So I do feel like for you guys, you're basically really tuning into your rising sign and whatever that is for you, really look into what that is. If you haven't really looked into it that much, that's probably where the research is coming in as well. And there may be something you might find out about your rising sign soon. And possibly you're watching rising sign readings or something like that, you know. And we had a 555 five, five on the clock, which is really interesting because it hasn't even passed 555 five, five yet. Literally it's going to pass 555 five, five in like five seconds, which is so weird because I saw it. That is the weirdest thing. I'm having some weird esoteric spiritual shit going on today <laughs> okay justice beautiful so you are going to get what you want you are going to get it guys okay you will get it we then have oh my god water sign of course we have a water sign king of cups so you could be meeting a king of cups or you could be that king of cups who is being more established with your um your life your understanding what's going on you're like it's okay you know i'm gonna take my time it's fine it's all good it's all good bro it's all good. It could also be you're tuning into your masculine energy as well, but you could also be meeting a masculine and look at that. Oh my God, we could not have a much more gorgeous pair. I love it when the Hierophant and Justice come out because they're such similar energies. I feel like the Hierophant is much more spiritual than Justice, but when we have them together with the King of Cups in the middle, like look at that, look at all that masculine energy that's really affirming that whatever you want is gonna come to you. And it's all about everything that you wanted is, st is gonna be stable and long lasting. Okay, guys, and you are going to get it and you will feel fulfilled. And this is a definite Cancerian. So if you guys are a Cancerian or you're connected to a Cancerian, I don't know why I'm touching the read card. So I used to do reading about Cancerians. Maybe you're looking into a Cancerian sign. This card, they keep tapping it. I don't know why. Why are you... I'm going to have a little look and see why they're tapping it. Why are they tapping it? Why are we tapping it? So do have this. Okay, let me just tune into this and see what's going on. I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be meeting a Cancerian and you're going to be like, but I'm like from astrology, I'm not meant to like be compatible with Cancerians. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of what you're like because it's kind of a bit confused. Yeah, I feel like, oh, you're looking into something you love as well. You're reading something that you love. They're like, yes, yes, that's what they're doing. So yes, you're reading something that you love and you're possibly going to find a male. Oh, this is a good message. You're possibly going to find a male character in a book or some sort of TV show or something that you, you like a fantasy thing that you think I could date that person and then they and then they come in. That's crazy. Obviously not the exact same like I don't know like Game of Thrones. Like no, <laughs> it, like I mean someone who has those qualities as that character and then they you actually meet them in person. But you can actually meet that celebrity. Wow, this is a big message. You can actually meet a celebrity that you really like. Extra, they're saying extra points is there a Cancerian. <laughs> This is so funny. Um, if the actor that you like is a Cancerian or actress. That's so interesting. You could be just communicating with a Cancerian. I'm getting this. Like communicating. Oh, yeah, communicating. Okay, cool. So they're doing a lot of weird stuff to my body and they're like doing this. It's almost like you're trying to grab them out of the out of the book. Sorry guys, there's a lot of weird channeling going on today, so All right, let's have a look at your letters. We have S, oh, can't pick up the S. We have S, E, H, C, V, and Z. So if any of those letters resonate with you, then that's great. And let's see what number you should be looking out for. What number should number four be looking out for? 
Number five, interesting. So look out for number five, guys. And let's have a look and see what your crystal recommendation is. And see. Oh, lovely. Another water water um, card. So we have self-confidence, root and sacral chakra. I really feel that's resonating with you guys. It's having self-confidence and reflecting on that, you know. We have unikite, live in the present, heart chakra. This is very good for health problems as well guys so if you're having any health issues unikite is really really good for health problems water ocean throat chakra so talking about how you really feel okay and then we also have we have a lot of crystal cards this group calcite calmness so whatever you feel like is most accurate for you is is a very good crystal to get for your situation and we also have kunzite children third eye and heart chakra so a lot of you guys could actually be preparing for your partner a lot of you guys could really be actually preparing for your partner and your children, which is so cool. A lot of you guys could be pregnant as well or having children or really be connecting with your inner child. Oh, I hear remembering what you used to love as a child and doing that, which is so funny because I literally have just finished watching Doctor Who and I love Doctor Who and I, used, I literally started watching it when I was about eight years old and I'm 23 now. So um, I freaking love Doctor Who. So anything you love. And I also recently just did a post about Animal Crossing, which is so cool. Animal Crossing is a game for some of you guys who don't know what Animal Crossing is. It's just a get a Nintendo game. So I really feel like for you guys, you're really connecting with your childlike energy, okay? I want to pull you one more of these self-love oracle cards. So I really feel connected to do that. Hydrate. Yeah, this is actually the card for group number three as well. So a lot of you guys need to have that. Oh my God, look, the water. That's amazing. And also you clear your throat with water as well. And we have connect with your ancestors, which is so stunning. You guys are really going to get that information coming through in your third eye as well. So um, also you could be meeting like uh, twins as well, something to do with twins, maybe Gemini as well. You could be even be meeting like a long lost pair of twins that are like your grandma's sisters or something. I don't know, something like that, you know. So I love that. That's a really gorgeous message. I love this picture as well. Stunning. So thank you so much for watching this reading, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Also, if you like my readings, then feel free to purchase a private reading. All my information is down below. I have some free slots. So if you'd like a free reading, then all my information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Also, if you'd like a private reading, then to get in contact with me, you just email me at victoriaheretoinspire at gmail.com uh, or you can Instagram message me on my Instagram. So thank you so much, guys. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.